Okay guys, so finally Apple has released another beta today for iOS 16.3, or I should say RC, the release candidate. This is the last update that Apple will send out to developers before the official release to the public. So of course, in today's video, we'll talk about some of the last minute changes and new features added to iOS 16.3, and also expect the release dates for the software. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now as per usual apple has also updated all their other platforms so iOS 16.3 RC is available for the iPhone, iPad OS 16.3 RC is available for the iPad, Mac OS 13.2 RC is available for the Mac, Watch OS 9.3 RC is available for the Apple Watch, and of course, TV OS 16.3 RC is available for the Apple TV. Now, if you have an iPhone or an iPad that does not support iOS or iPad OS 16, there's also a new update in the horizon for you as well, 15.7.3 RC was released today for those iPhones, and iPadOS 15.7.3 RC has been released for those iPads as well. Now, all these software updates will be released at the same time. Apple has also updated HomePod OS with some additional improvements to the original HomePod and the HomePod Mini, which I'll link in the description down below. Some improvements to Siri, also some UI changes as well for the OG HomePod. Apple today also announced brand new HomePods as well, and I want to start off with some of the latest new features on iOS 16. Point three that pertain to HomePod. Apple has added this little clip here. This is a screen capture of a new feature that allows you to transfer music to HomePod. It sort of shows you how to transfer that music over to your HomePod by bringing your iPhone close to the HomePod. And as you can see right there, it will transfer the music over. So this is pertaining to the new updates coming to the HomePod OS and iOS together. So a nice little clip here showing you how to do that. And now we also have security keys with iOS 16.3. For those of you that would prefer to have your your security keys stored locally and physically you can do that now with iOS 16.3 I'm happy to announce that this feature made it to the official final release there's also some UI enhancements and changes to emergency SOS when we press the side and volume buttons together you see we get a new UI here for emergency SOS and we also get here under emergency SOS the call quietly so that you can silence the sirens and the flash from your camera when invoking an emergency call so some UI changes here to emergency SOS which I'm really happy to announce. Now, there's also some changes to advanced data protection. Apple has now pushed out advanced data protection to the UK, so this is great news. Apple continues to expand on advanced data protection, so you can go into settings, iCloud settings, you go to iCloud and scroll down, you find the advanced data protection here. You can enable this feature if it is available in your country. So you're gonna to wanna to do that, of course, to keep your data protected on your device. Now, there's also new wallpapers available. So one new wallpaper is available and a new watch face for the Unity collection, which Apple also announced today. So let's go to wallpapers here and let me show you the new collection. Right there it is, the new Unity wallpaper, which I really like, it looks really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and use that right now as you can see right there. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of features that did not make the cut on iOS 16.3. I was looking forward to the Apple Card Savings Accounts, Apple Pay Later, that also did not make it. Apple Music Classic did not make it. Message Contact Key Verification and Custom Accessibility Mode did not make it onto the last final release of iOS 16.3. Now, Apple has previously released additional RCs for a particular software, so if we see RC2, a revised version of this, I wouldn't be surprised in case there's any final last minute bugs that Apple needs to patch up. But other than that, expect that release dates for this software is January the 23rd or the 24th. So in less than a week as of the filming of this video, everyone can enjoy iOS 16.3 and all the other software updates previously mentioned in today's video. And there you guys have it, just a quick one letting you guys know some of the new features added to the final release, expect the release date, and what to expect. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.